Couples battling infertility issues have been challenged to speak out and embrace assisted reproduction to enable them to have children. Suba North MP Melio Diambo said, uh, said this as she briefed the Health Committee on a proposed bill to regulate in vitro fertilization and surrogacy. Chemutai Goin has more details. Having undergone the stigma of being unable to conceive and in a bid to ensure couples facing similar challenges are assisted, Suba North legislator Melio Diambo has reintroduced the Assisted Reproductive Technology Bill 2016 that seeks to help persons unable to give birth through natural ways. Many women and men also who are suffering because they don't have children and they can agree with their wife, instead of <coughs> just going candle behind my back, let's go and visit this facility. We know we are going to get help and we're going to get advice and they have children. Almost two, two male members who spoke to me in private who had also had their children through assisted reproduction. We can use the the, the phase of public participation during making this bill to, to let men get the courage and come out and I know that being in fertile or in fertility is not a shame. The bill also proposes the establishment of an authority to govern IVF and surrogacy. Concerns raised over the possibility of a woman who carried a pregnancy on behalf of another laying claim to the child or children. Uh, several cases have gone to the High Court and the court said that there is no legislative framework. One other major concern is cost. In Kenya, a single IVF treatment averages 300,000 shillings, that is if the sperm and egg are from the couple. If one is using donated egg or sperm, the amount goes up by over 90,000 shillings. In some cases, first attempts are successful. For others, they have to dig deeper into their pockets. One of them told me that uh, for every round of, uh, of, of process she undertook, she paid in Kenya 300,000 and she had done about three of them, so she'd spent about a million, went to South Africa, spent almost another million, and uh, carried the children for about six months, lost the children, then went through another round. So it's not only traumatizing, but very uh, unaffordable especially uh, for poor women. This bill seeks to demystify the myths associated with assisted reproduction and restore broken homes. Chemutai Goen, Citizen TV.